There's a sidewall donut for you. Man, that's going on forever. Look at that. Man, that could just keep on going forever. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays. Monster Jam Times 2. And today we are going to be playing as one of my favorite monster trucks of all time, and definitely my favorite of the Demolition Crew. That is Max D. Maximum Destruction. You know what? I just saw something that I have never seen before. Over here to the left, there is a little ramp right here. I did not, I've never seen that ramp before. Whoa! <laughs> Sweet! Do a little uh, sky wheelie action there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, but first off, I need to go uh, fix up my my truck. Let me go find one of the uh, world collectibles that's right over here. Got it. Nice. All right, let's take a look at Max D. I'm going to take him up over on top here. There's a nice little platform up here. Max D is one of my favorite trucks of all time. And certainly my favorite. Well, you know, one of my favorites of the Demolition Crew. Because you know what? Demolition Crew also includes... El Toro Loco, and El Toro Loco is <laughs> also one of my favorite trucks. Demotion Crew has got some awesome trucks. But here is a good close-up look of Max D. Oh yeah. <laughs> You've got the sparks flying out the back end. You can trigger that by hitting the right bumper button. Tom Mintz on the side. Got the, uh, the Max D robot. They're busting his way out. I forgot what his name is. Uh, I know he's got a name and it's going to kill me that I forgot what it was. Cool graphics on the top and on the sides, though. Man, Max D is such a cool looking truck. And up here on the top, this is a nice little platform <laughs> for showing off all of the monster trucks. Now, to unlock Max D's hidden world collectible, because every truck has their own Hidden World collectible, with the exception of... There's one exception, I know there is, but I can't remember who it is. I think maybe the, everybody does. Maybe the, uh, the the starter trucks, they don't have uh, World collectibles. But anyway, Max D's Hidden World collectible is found at the top of this little uh, valley here, this little mine, maybe? I don't know what you would call this. But getting up, you, you can find your own little creative way to get up. There's, there's no real right or wrong way to get up, but... Once you get up to the top, whoa! <laughs> Maybe not this way. Whoa. Don't go too fast. This way is actually the way to one of the Hidden World collectibles, or not Hidden World, but just one of the, the world collectibles for the zone. There it is right there. Now I've got a cool fixed up truck, fixed up Max D. But anyway, once you work your way up to the top, of that whole little mess over here, this mine or whatever you want to call it. Over in this hangar area right here is where you find Max D's Hidden World Collectible. You drive into the hangar and the lights will turn on and you can see <laughs> I'll move the camera around right there. It says Maximum Fuel right there at the top. Ah, there it is right there. And then all of these little laser beams will start kicking on. And eventually, they will blast Max D. Uh-oh, dog's barking. Eventually, they'll blast Max D. And the little box here will open up. And you can drive forward. And there is Max D's Hidden World Collectible. So Max D doesn't have a chapter of his own. So if we go into to, uh, single player... Go to World Career Mode Plus. The next chapter is Fear the Curse, but I'm not quite ready to go into the Haunted Forest. So I think we need to do some quick play. All right, we're gonna start off here in Indianapolis with a head-to-head -head competition. Do me a huge favor though, before we get started with this head-to-head, -head, smash that like button. It really does help get these videos out to more people. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job that you wanna see more Monster Jam. Steel Titans 2 action. 
And our first competitor is going to be Monster Mutt Husky. Oh, one of the coolest non-real-life trucks. There it is. And three, two, one, go. Perfect start right out the gate. Oh, it's going to be very helpful. So it looks like this is just a big oval. Oh, got to go a little slow going over that little ridge right there. Slow it down coming around the corner. Got a long straightaway, which is good for building up speed. But then you have to kind of jam on the brakes. Urgh, and don't clip over the trucks or the crush cars. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we got to slam on the brakes at the end. Otherwise, we start drifting too much around the corner. And that slows us down too much. Here we go. Not doing too bad. Oh, we made it. Just barely, though. That was a tight race. All right, so Husky is out of the way. Next up, we've got Avenger. Ooh, I really do like the way that the camera pans over my truck. Max D, such a cool looking truck. And there is Avenger. Hey, check out the Chocolate Drive. He is doing a sign up series with some die cast toys in a downhill race. And I just signed up to be Avenger Black. Oh, and I, I'm so excited because Avenger is one of my favorite trucks. I know I say that about a lot of trucks, but seriously, Avenger, especially Avenger Black, that is, or Avenger Fire, rather, not Avenger Black, is one of my favorites. Like, hardcore, easily top five. Plus, Chocolate Drive deserves all the thumbs up he can get. Got a great channel. I love that guy. All right, here we go. Slow it down a little bit. Don't want to drift too much. See, I drifted a little too hard there, but hey, I made up for the time there. First place, we beat Avenger. All right, Avenger is out of there. Who's up next? Oh, we're going to be going against Max D. Max D versus Max D. Am I seeing double? Is there two Max Ds in this stadium? There are. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Usually they don't run the same body style in the same stadium. Usually it's a different body style, but hey, it could happen. Perfect start. Here we go. Okay, we got to be careful coming around this corner. Oh, this first corner is really tough. Not too bad, though. We are in second place, so we do have to make up some time. Break a little bit. Come around the corner. Oh, nice. That was perfect. Let's see if we can get a good drift amount. Oh, I think we got this. In the bag. First place. Yeah, baby. Ooh. <laughs> How's that for a head-to-head? -head? All right, Max D is out of the way. Who's it going to be? Bakugan or Stone Crusher? Stone Crusher! Max D versus Stone Crusher. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. No! <laughs> Let's see if I can make up some time there. I skidded off track for a little while, but I think I can make it up. Here we go, coming around this corner. Don't cut it too close. No, like that. <laughs> you know, my boys and I were watching uh, a real life Monster Jam event the other night, and Max D actually did clip. It wasn't it wasn't a crush car? It was they called it a pod, but it's just a little mound of dirt. Oh no! Second place. I went all the way to the end, only to lose. Anyway, Max D came around the corner too sharp, hit the pod, this little mound of dirt and did a little bicycle thing and it cost him the event because he clipped it too short. So this is a, a factor in real life monster truck racing. Don't cut those corners too short because it could cost you the win. Just like it cost me the win. Urgh. That's all right, let's move on to freestyle. There's Big Daddy Max D. Maximus, that's his name. Maximus is trying to break free from the side of the truck. I knew I could remember it. Go! <laughs> nice. Big air. Oh, no. 
flipped it, and there's no recovery from that one. Oh, man, if this were real life, that would be the end of my run. <laughs> it's a good thing I can just reset. Nice little bit of a slap wheelie there. And a sky wheelie, but they didn't count either one. So rude. But they did count that little itty bitty bicycle. Okay. There's a sidewall donut for you. Man, that's going on forever. Look at that. Man, I could just keep on going forever. <laughs> Very nice. Of course, they don't call it a sidewall donut. They call it a power out. I guess, I guess it's the same thing. Let's get some big air. Nice into a backflip. That was awesome. Let's do a backflip off the backflip container. Oh, 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 oh. Did not quite get the momentum I wanted, but they did count it as a backflip. Let's get some big air. Going the wrong way off that jump there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Some more big airs. Ah, they're not counting any of these. They did count this stoppy, though. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Did not have the momentum to get a moonwalk from it. Let's see if we can get a moonwalk over this way. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Moonwalk up onto the the uh, little platform there. Let's get some big air and a backflip. Nice. Nine times combo. Not too bad. Not too bad. We are in first place for this event. Finish it off with some donuts. You know, we still have 20 seconds left. Let's do some donuts and a cyclone. Let's see if we can get a sky wheelie there. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a wheelie, they call it. They, they didn't count the sky wheelie part, but they did count a wheelie for me. Running out of time here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Let's come over this way. We'll do some donuts. We'll get a cyclone. That would be a good way to end it right there. But I still have some time on my combo meter. Let's get a big air. Nice. They didn't count it. But it was still a good big air. Very cool run. That was fun. Let's give Indianapolis Time Destruction a go. See what we can do. Looks like there's plenty of stuff to smash in this event. There's my nice big BKT tires. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite have the momentum to get those blimps up in the air, but that's okay. Got lots of porta potties. Get that crush bus. Some more porta potties. <laughs> lots of crates to smash, and I lost my combo meter. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. Whoa. <laughs> Got some blimps up in the air. That was a good trick. Right over the crush cars. <laughs> it did not count. That was not very effective at all. We'll get these boxes over this way. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, oh, man. I missed it. There's nothing else to crush. I thought there was going to be more stuff over there, but there wasn't. There does look like there's some stuff over this way. Let's see. Let's see. We'll hit this. Nice. Look at it. We've got all those blimps. Hit the boxes on either side. We'll come get these outhouses. We're in 13th place, which tells me... Oh, now we're in 9th. But still, we have not been getting those combo meters up the way that we need to to keep that score multiplier high. Ugh, come on. Come on. Here we go. Crush the crush car. Oh, man. Yeah, they're not my best run ever. We need to keep that, that combo meter high. Not so easy. The, the, the items are spread out. The crushables are kind of spread out. Crush bus. More porta potties. Some crush cars. This looks like it would be fun. Let me come over this way. No! Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Don't run out of time on me now. Okay, let's see if we can get... Three, two, one. Oh, I missed it. Did not have nearly as much momentum as I needed for that. Second place. Let's see how long we can keep this combo meter going. No! I lost it. Second place is all I got. Oh, well. That was still a fun run.
And I think Indianapolis is coming up here in the Haunted Forest, so it's good to practice and know what I'm getting into. Speaking of the Haunted Forest, let's end this video with a circuit race here in the Haunted Forest. Oh, I need to get the practice up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. Let's get way out ahead of everybody. Man, these, these are not fun. <laughs> At least this is not the derby race. This is just the regular circuit race. Blue Thunder is right on my tail. He almost wiped out, but didn't quite. I remember this this trail, this uh, track, has got a lot of places to flip. And I think this is one of them right here. I gotta be careful coming around the corner. Yeah, right there. Uh, no, okay. Hey, not doing so bad. Not doing so bad. Not doing great, but I'm not doing so bad. Gotta get out ahead of Blue Thunder here. He is gonna mess me up. Or I'm just gonna mess myself up by boosting when I shouldn't have. And and if I reset, of course, I'm gonna end up behind everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Especially oh, next to Avenger, who's gonna knock me around, and Pirate's Curse, who's gonna... Use his little fart ability that's going to stop me dead in my tracks. Oh. <laughs> it's still a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. And that's the whole point, right? As long as you're having fun. Even if you're getting knocked around by Avenger. Oh, Monster Mutt, what happened, buddy? You had a little wipeout, did you? Oh. <laughs> hey. Avenger just kind of took him out. Finish the job. Big jump. Man, Avenger's going to be so hard to get around. Oh, Blue Thunder, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you no longer in first place? Man, we still have two more laps to go. That's such a long track. That's all right. That's all right. Maybe the other guys are going to mess up again. And I can catch up. Although it doesn't look like it. The person who's in first, whoever that may be, they seem to be doing a good job of staying in first. There's just no good places to boost on this map, you know? Oh, Avenger. Oh, Avenger did what I just did. <laughs> but he recovered just like I did, so that's okay. Yes, that is not a good place to boost, because then I would go flying way off track. Same with here. This would not be a good place to boost. Ah, uh, an Avenger's shield, because he's a defender, stopped me in midair. Maybe this is a good place to boost, huh? Nope. <laughs> sure wasn't. Sure wasn't. Ah. Uh, yeah, that could have gone worse. Could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. I think the only good place to really boost is right at the very end when you're crossing the finish line. And even then, I don't know. Yeah, right in through here. Yes, that is a good place to boost. I have not seen any other place that I would feel comfortable boosting other than right there. Everything else is just too rocky and too curvy. Ah. But then sometimes you just have to. You have to take that opportunity when it comes, but uh, <laughs> I might try this one more time just because I feel like I'm, I'm getting the lay of the land on this track but I tell you what when it comes to the final when it comes to the world career mode when I get here I'm, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble with all these races, like I said, I'm not quite ready to head to the Haunted Forest, at least not on hard mode. I could probably do just fine in medium, but in hard, whew, these are going to be tough. No. Oh, man. Okay, I feel like all the AI trucks have kind of separated, and so nobody's going to, nobody's going to mess up. And that's the only way that I really get an advantage is when somebody messes up and flips. And hopefully I don't mess up and flip, but yeah, it is what it is. Woo! 
Sixth place. Should we try that one more time? What do you think? Yeah, let's try it one more time, and then we'll call it a day. All right, here we go. Same trucks. The only ones I'm really worried about are Avenger and Pirate's Curse, but I think we'll be okay. Go, perfect start. Let's get out ahead of everybody. Now, I mean, if I could just drive straight, right? <laughs> Don't hit the bumps. Stay in the middle of the road. Don't go flying off. Then I think I'll be okay. It's when I hit the bumps and I go rocking and rolling. Or when other trucks come up behind me and go and use their abilities on me. That's when I mess up. But if I can just stay in the lead. And this is where I mess up, right here. Oh, good recovery. Nice, nice. So far, so good. I'm trying not to get cocky. I'm trying very hard. I know I could lose this at any time, even though I'm in front. And I'm pretty far in front too, but that's okay, because I could change it any time. Well, if this was a one lap race, I would have just won first place. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's two more laps left to go. But hey, that was a spectacular, near perfect first lap. No, don't flip over. Oh, good job, Max D. I feel like I lost some time there, but I'm still out ahead of everybody. Not doing too bad. My palms are sweating right now. Hopefully my controller doesn't stop working because it gets water damage. Oh, big jump. Not too bad, not too bad. Good landing. No, 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 no. Okay, come on, get back on track. There we go, perfect, yes. Thank you, AI computer, for putting me back in a decent place. No, 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 get up. Get up, please. There we go, okay, good. I'm still in front. <laughs> Oh, there is somebody right on my backside. I can, I, I'm feeling them breathing down my neck. I don't know who it is, but I can smell their exhaust. <laughs> oh, it's Avenger. Of course it is. Of course it's Avenger. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, two laps down. I'm still in first place, surprisingly. I don't know how I managed to do that. The music is so epic too it's 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 oh it's swelling don't go off track come on maxi come on come on here we go oh good job oh no avenger you are gonna mess me up aren't you oh avenger come on avenger you've got to mess up right right come on come on oh. Hello, Monster Mutt. <laughs> I tell you what, near perfect run all the way up until right, uh, right there, just a few seconds ago. Near perfect. I can't really complain too much about this. I know Avenger beat me, but... <sighs> That is such a hard race, at least on hard. Well, I'm sure on other skill levels, difficulty levels, it's hard too, but wow, man, I'm in for it. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I do think that is all the time that I've got for today. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode with Max D. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please check out the video that you see on the screen right now. Don't 
don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Woohoo! Later! <laughs> oh, it's a good flip right there. <laughs> Bye!